it, you can feel the, the quality and um, the craftsmanship and the thought that's gone into every little detail. Guilty, guilty. Also, this is one of my favorite uh, studios out there. It's uh, Stockholm Design Lab. And the characteristics of, of the expression of the brand. But I think this is a perfect statement of staying pure and minimal and saying, why reinvent the wheel? This is pure, progressive and performance. Okay, three Ps. Uh, three elements. Because you can, can also see through you know, all the windows and so on. You That's the basic idea of a window, right? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Brand Classics today. Uh, we're going to be jumping into uh, one of actually our favorites um, from, from the studio. We will be breaking down in the usual format, looking at the, the landscape of uh, the brand that we're going to be reviewing. Um, in this case, it is in fact Polestar. Polestar has been a highly anticipated and highly requested video uh, from you guys. So we thought it was about time to get back into to the classics and uh, look at uh, the brand as a whole. Um, as I was saying, we'll be breaking it down, looking at the history, looking at the, the colors, the logo, the photography, everything that goes in to making this brand um, a classic. So uh, yeah, today actually I am joined by Not Jan, but um, for some of you veterans out there who've been uh, following us for quite some time, Anatoly. So it'll be a familiar face. Hello, Anatoly. Uh, Hi, Paul. Welcome back to Glad the channel. To It's good again. to have you here. <laughs> Glad to be here again. All right. Um, yeah, so today you'll be taking uh, Jan's role and you will be uh, giving us a little bit of an insight into Polestar. Just a small request before we jump into the video. 70% of you guys are not subscribed and we would really, really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button and uh, yeah, like this video. It really helps us to continue to grow the channel. We are super appreciative that you guys show up uh, time and time again and watch the videos. Just by hitting that subscribe button, it means so much to us and it allows us to continue to keep making content like this. So, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So, let me introduce uh, uh, Polster to you. Um, some facts, some history. So, Polster is a Swedish automotive brand uh, established in 1996 as Flash Engineering, um, as a racing team competing in the Swedish uh, Touring Car Championship. The team was sold and rebranded uh, to Polestar uh, Racing, which began modifying Volvos for racing in the late 2000s. So Volvo purchased uh, 2015 uh, Polestar Performance and also the Polestar. Under their own badge. Um, Volvo and Polestar belongs to Geely, This is a Chinese uh, car manufacturer. And when I heard this 2015 or so that Geely bought Volvo after Ford sell uh, Volvo to Geely, I was a bit surprised and I was a bit afraid that the Volvo uh, company, car company will change in a bad way, but it's actually not happening. So I think they, they give them permission to do So great job with Polestar. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And the branding was done by... Who? Uh, Come on, please, tell me. I think it's one of your favorites, right? <laughs> I mean, oh, you, you know. <laughs> because I work with you, that's yeah, why. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> And I'm sure, like, for a lot of the people out there as well who are um, following us, yeah. or who, who are in, into design, at least, um, will know this uh, yeah, design studio. Yeah. Guilty, guilty. Also, this is one of my favorite uh, studios out there. It's uh, Stockholm Design Lab from Stockholm, of course, Sweden. Um, they did the rebrand and um, they won also the Red Dot Award and become the best of the best in the year uh, 2020. 
so the branding let's let's dive into it but um and the the branding is based uh, actually on three elements is this pure progressive and performance okay three p's uh three elements three Or elements three with beginning with a p right yeah three, three p's, p's. Yeah, okay three p's. all right yeah cool Yeah, and I think this is also an interesting part to break it down like uh, into th three words. And when creating a brand, it's also important to uh, to remind yourself: is it uh, fit to the values we created? Yeah. So this is also a great thing to have. So let's take a look on the old logo. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So you saw it before? No, I have not seen this. But is this what's the font? The it's font looks very familiar to me. I think it's uh, like two thousand. The Euro classic. style is it Euro, Euro style, style yeah, or something? It, it looks very much like Euro style, which was <laughs> big in the 2000s, right? Yeah, it's uh, Euro style. Uh, Euro style, I think. But maybe it's a bit modified. I don't know the A. Not sure. But it uh, looks a bit generic. And I think back in the days, uh, the, the cool Volvo cars who have this performance kit has also this uh, Suan. Um, badge, plastic badge in the mm -hmm. front of the grill or somewhere on the side. So people who own Volvo was very proud of it. Okay. So this is poster and now we take a look on the logo from um, EastDL, uh, Stockholm Design Lab. So it's actually, the, they keep the North Star and, um, and in Swedish also where the name comes from, um, The North Star uh, called Polstjarnan, so it's a literal translation meaning Pole Star. Okay, which I've is the, um, the Polaris. Yeah, the, the in, North in Star English. actually, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I hope I pronounce it right, Polstjarnan, I don't know. You probably so do a better job than I can because I can't <laughs> even read that. <laughs> so it had to be, um, what they uh, when they're designing, designing the logo, um, the goal was to, to keep it pure, minimalistic, but strong. And I think it's a really difficult task to design a unique uh, North Star icon. Absolutely. I mean, it's. I mean, we had a, a breakout session today where we were. The brightest in the sky, where you're going, where you're heading. It's a very kind of uh, obvious thing to go yeah. for. But I think these guys, you know, did it right, and they've managed to kind of coin it and and own it somehow. But we will we will yeah. see as we as we so go through. So here's some some um, animation of the logo um, um, together with the topography. We come la uh, later as well to uh, the point typography. Um, oh, it's already here. <laughs> Very nice. I mean, that's one of the things that these guys do super well is presenting their work. It's just, it's clean, it's on point, it's fresh. It's just really easy. It's always a joy to uh, to look at their work. And I think um, the, the the core elements like pure, um, what's what was the three of them? Uh, performance and pu uh, pure performance and I forget already. I don't know. You did the research. <laughs> um, it was mm, just to go back. Pure progressive and performance. And I think these uh, elements are um, coming really to life when you see all the the application here. How they they apply the typography, the logo, and also the colors. It's not much, but how they work all together. It's it's really great. Also, how they work with the grids. It's it's really nice executed, and I think they did a really really good job here so far. I can see. Yeah, I mean, Paul Star has become kind of a, a modern classic. Um, it's definitely a, a go-to for a, a lot of creatives. I think no matter which industry you're working in, I think it's just kind of pure perfection when it comes to how to execute something. So let's let's see a short video um, from Polestar, which also embrace the brand. 
And I think what's also really important at uh, Polestar is that the CEO is also a designer. So it's a design-driven brand from the beginning. It's not similar to to German car manufacturer because they have always an engineer on the top of the of the brand of the company. Um, this is also refreshing, and, th and I think we see it through all the elements of the brand, from the cars, from the product, to the website, everything. So yeah. and it's, it's a, refresh, a refreshing approach to do so. From the very beginning, we set out to explore. We knew from the start that we needed to create a highly desirable brand. Design is the link between the human and the technology. It builds a bridge. We create a Scandinavian high-tech look that has not been seen that way before. Sustainability is not limited to getting to the electric drivetrain. What is our next step? And next step obviously is all right, yeah, cool. I mean, perfect example again of um, beautifully executed work. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, and I think you as a, a poster customer, already <laughs> f familiar with, uh, with the car, yeah. but I have some pictures from, from uh, the interior. I think this is not the poster two or one, but it's a kind of prototype. But when you see this kind of details and uh, execution, it just looks fantastic. Um, yeah, as you say, as a as a um, as a Polestar customer, I do have the the Polestar too. It's an absolute joy to be in that space. The whole thing is executed wonderfully. It's um, it, you can feel the the quality and um, the craftsmanship and the thought that's gone into every little detail is um yeah polestar's close to my heart as well because i enjoy driving one but i also really really enjoy and what brought me to it as a as a designer was the design the brand the execution absolutely uh, wonderful so but there's also one thing um af uh, after the uh, logo was released so um citroen saw the logo and uh, sue polestar and they was forbidden for six months or so not to sell the cars in France. Um, and they said it's really similar to the to their brand. Um, I, I see absolutely no similarities whatsoever. The, Do you? No, not really. It's it's uh, a, a different approach, I think. But when you rotate the shapes of the uh, of the star from pole star you can can create a Citroen logo. Yeah, um, but you can say that with many things. I think the many, main concern was uh, that it looks really similar on the car with the um, chrome elements and so on. But it's a star and Citroen has some kind of... It's all one color finish. I think the first release of the Polestar 2 had some chrome elements, uh, but generally they did not have, like, um, or now they don't have chrome logos. Maybe that was a, you know, a backlash, or yeah. that was like a way of actually um, solving the problem. I don't know, but from a design aesthetic anyway, removing the chrome was a, was a great idea, because yeah. it looks beautiful without, without the chrome work anyway. 
Yeah, I think for design, it's a, it's a worst case can happen if you uh, create a brand and some somebody's you uh, you. It's uh, a lot of cost, uh, yeah. and I think they agreed already. Um, but it still costs a lot of money to get an agreement and so on. So we have here uh, some uh, typography. They use uh, the Unica 77. And um, in the statement, they actually want to uh, use um, Helvetica first because they want to be pure. And after they try to use Helvetica, they, they change their mind and go for Unica because it has a bit more character. So yeah, I, I mean, we, we uh, generally look at uh, brands and we believe, you know, a typography, of course, is... Um, a very important part of the, the brand makeup and we always say well you know if you're serious then create a font based around your beliefs based around um, your aesthetics your ideals whatever it is that you're trying to say with with your brand and and uh, and the characteristics of of the expression of the brand but I think this is a perfect statement of kind of staying pure and minimal and saying why reinvent the wheel? Yeah. It already exists. Like choose something that's that's beautiful in its essence and, and pure, as you say, and uh, and go with that. I think that's a, that's a great, <laughs> yeah, a great yeah, idea. I, yeah, I can imagine when they when they design uh, the stuff. Um, so they use Helvetica and then uh, use Unica close to it, and you see already like everything is changing and and it feels like the brand. So I think it's also uh, um, like to discover this kind of. Uh, and same same typography, but still in the nuance and the details, it's it's gives the the brand this kind of uniqueness, but still looks really pure and um, uh, modern. And I think also timeless is a really uh, big topic here because I mean originally it was designed uh, 77 or even older, it based on uh, Neue Husk. Let's see how it's uh, f how long it can fit to Polestar, and I think they do a great job here. So here's some uh, execution. They they um, use the AM dash to separate things, and um, here's some some uh, UI elements or things where where the pl um, typography is placed. So I think it it works really nice everywhere. Digital, also on the car and uh, on print. Now we're coming to color. We already see a lot of color. I think it's it's mostly gray, grayish tones, but a little bit warmer grayish tones. Um, this is also to keep the brand pure. And I think it's it works very well. And I think what I saw is also that they have a belt, for example, in yellow color. Yeah, that's from the Brambo um, brakes. Yeah. So there's a yellow As accent well. so color they have that they use uh, here in a color view. So the main color is monochrome, and also this minimalistic foundation or approach, and um, yeah, all the all the additional colors, uh, accent colors have uh, more vibrant. Here's some uh, application, and here you can see also this this orange color. Yeah, that's what I mean actually, and uh, some kind of important safety things like the brake and the belt um, have also this kind of... Uh, in the performance pack, not in the, no, no, not okay. in the, stand okay. not in the standard version. Okay. Everything is just, um, yeah, black. So here's also, uh, apart from the website, uh, Electric Journey starts here, reserve now. So um, looks the, the pictures also looks really nice. I think it's, uh, it's beautiful. And here um, we have some thumbnails. What do you think? So here's the belt um, we talk about. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a, personally. I'm not a fan of yellow, <laughs> so um, I never opted for the yellow. Um, so I don't have to live with yellow as a pole star color. Um, for me, I can kind of skip that. For some people, maybe they love yellow and they want to have yellow accents on on uh, every touch point. In or every special touch point in their experience with Polestar, but uh, it wasn't for me. But yeah, I mean, generally, like the whole thing is very, very rounded and is very consistent. 
I trust this brand. So here's some uh, showroom, which also looks uh, really, really cool. I just saw them from outside, um, never was in, inside the showroom, but what I can see from outside, it was really cool. Because you can, can also see through you know, all the windows and so on. You That's the basic idea of a window, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been into these showrooms, and they're yeah, again, they're beautiful. I mean, it's uh, very basic elements. It's uh, concrete, it's um, wood, it's very minimal surfaces. Um, it's very basic elements, just done in a very uh, minimalist, modern, modern way. And um, yeah, experiencing Polestar from the showrooms is a uh, yeah, I think as elegant and as um, as entertaining and as consistent as the rest of the brand. It really kind of lives in many, many spaces. So here I have found some prototypes. It's uh, actually from the Instagram um, channel called PDC, uh, Poster Design Center, I think. So they have their own uh, Instagram uh, account. And uh, this is just an amazing looking car. I also a bit into car design, um, and uh, when I saw this, I constantly fell in love. So it's just well executed. So guys, here's the poster website. Really minimal, um, big photo, um, some some types here. Um, yeah, looking good. And I actually, what I really like is that they switch the the uh, burger menu to the left, and the logo is on the on the right. What do you think about this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I need to use it. Um, I would imagine that's quite confusing, to be honest. But... I mean, uh, the UX patterns would normally put it on the right-hand side, so I don't really see any benefit of, like, changing the experience or the um, learn behavior just for the sake of it. Yeah, for me it was a bit unexpected, yeah. but I, f I I quite like it, honestly. So let's take a look here on the on the products. Here are the car. They have nice animations. So here poster two, one, and look at the button. They they change it. It's not orange or red. It's black with a orange uh, arrow. So I think um, this was like the first mockups. Um, from Stockholm Design Lab, and now they they also double check it. I think for the accessibility. So, and um, this is a video about sustainability. Uh, looks really cool. And I think what I discover also on the website that they are really. carbon no neutral, neutral uh, car by 2030. So let's maybe we cover it in <laughs> seven years again. Cool. Um, yeah, I think it's time for our scores, right? I mean, this is a, a brand classic. I think it's quite obvious. I mean, we are choosing brand classics for a, for a reason. Uh, we get to choose them. It's not based on the release of uh, of a new brand, and uh, yeah, I mean, I can say it's probably one of my my favorite kind of let's say modern classics. Everything fits together very very well. Um, I parted money for this brand. I parted ways with money for this brand, so I invested into it. They uh, they sold me something. Uh, a dream of uh, a better world, <laughs> a carbon neutral world, a beautifully designed world. Whatever they did, they did it right because I fell in love with this brand and I still like going back to it time and time again. And we talk about it a lot as well when we're um, working in this space, um, whether it's automotive or we're just also looking at great execution when it comes to design, uh, minimalism and a uh, beautiful space space to be and consistency. And they keep improving on it. That's what actually one of the things I love about the car is uh, they keep making it better, 
even the same version, when they update the software, the car gets better. And, you know, they release another version of the car and it gets better. Um, so for me, it's it has to be, because I don't want to give a 10, I want to give a very high score. I want to give a 9. So it's uh, it's high. I can't go full on 10 because there's still a couple of things um, that I think um, they could work on. I think um, you don't see any variable fonts in there as well. I know they use a, um, a classic. I think using a variable font, I'm not so sure about the yellow. I mean, that's a personal thing. Um, and yeah, there's just a, a few bits and pieces that I think could be better. Um, but generally, it's absolute classic, beautiful execution. Mm. Um, so, what do I think? Um, yeah, I think, like you already said, it's it's uh, a classic. It's uh, for a long time my favorite. I love the Stockholm Design Lab and I love the project they're doing. And I think they did a really, really good job. I think they have also uh, a great poster design team in-house because it's on every corner, it's executed really high class. Um, this is something that I really appreciate. So I found nothing when I uh, searched for the brand on the website, on all the uh, uh, Instagram uh, accounts. Um, I, it, it was really a design-driven brand and it really spoke to me. I think the logo is great. I think it's really hard to find a North Star which looks unique, uh, even if it's there's some similarity maybe to uh, Citroën. Um, on the car, it looks really great. Uh, for the typography, I think it's... Um, if, I mean, yeah, they, can, they could go for a fancy uh, font or maybe they could design a, a custom one. But also, I, I like the statement to to keep one thing which is fit really uh, well and work with like really reduced way. About the color, yes, color is like everybody has an opinion on color. I'm not judging it at all. But I think when you think about pure performance, um, um, then then this kind of uh, yellowish like Lamborghini or uh, Fusagi uh, like accent colors. Uh, fits quite well. They're not accessible, right? So that's for for the button or so. They doesn't work. But when you have some kind of small elements, using here and there, it's a kind of refreshing. And I think in comparison uh, to to other brands out there, for me, it's like well or the best one, uh, best executed case. Um, that's why I want to give a ten out of 10 a 10 out of 10 yeah wow. and also just in comparison yeah. to the lg rebrand yeah. which is called really high i think this uh, also uh, uh, should be in the same category still after three years or so existing yeah cool um thank you uh thank you for um joining us joining me uh joining you guys on uh, today's classic brand review uh, that was a really cool one to, to sit down and uh, talk with you about um, definitely a studio favorite yes yeah, so we'll be doing more uh, brand classics in the upcoming videos um, again give us some thumbs up if you like this video and as always don't forget to subscribe it keeps us moving forward keeps us uh, growing this channel and as always, we will see you in the next one. Peace.